I'm Chris Witt with GreenwoodToday.com. I'm here with Jeff Murdoch, coach of the Blair Shoals Spotting Hornets. Glad to have you. Good, good, good to have you. Um, I just want to ask you a couple of questions just to reflect on uh, on your last season. Uh, first off, tell us about your your coaching past. Well, I taught at Hillcrest two years prior to coming here, and I just you know mainly was on the sports staff, took up tickets and whatever I could do. And then when I came here in 1998, Jeff Turner offered me a position as coach and. I uh, started coaching in and uh, always wanted to coach, so I really enjoyed it and it's just kind of cool for me. And he's the coach at uh, He's the coach at Clark. I spoke yeah. with him uh, yesterday, actually, because mm -hmm. I'm playing with Greenwood. Um, so as you, as you look back on the past season, uh, what do you think your, your achievements are? Well, you know, the fact that we were able to beat a 3 a school uh, was a real good accomplishment for us. Uh, losing uh, only one game with our non regular schedule as tough as it is, with wins over the bigger classification schools. I'd say that's a big positive for us. Uh, and winning the region obviously is positive for us. Oh, and what kind of things do you believe that you need to work on? Well, during the off season, going into the off season, we've got some young players we need to develop. Uh, hopefully, we, we'll be able to develop uh, two young quarterbacks to come on and uh, be able to throw a little more. Than we have in the past. They're more natural quarterbacks. We've got quarterback Bill, a little taller kid, uh, can see a little better. So I think that's one area, you know, we we'll stress through the off season going into passing and leading to the summer. You really can't talk about this past season without talking about Victoria's level. Mm -hmm. um, explain, you know, how how you saw his talent or was this his coming out year or was last year was he he played really good last year coming off the JV knee, or, or uh, varsity okay. Com coming off the knee injury he played really good last year and uh, then this year really stepped up and was our team leader uh and Torres had some clutch plays game winning plays uh when we played Seneca uh, I think he intercepted the final pass to seal the deal when we played 96 he recovered a fumble to seal that game and when we played Landry, he picked a pass for a score and uh, had a long run for a score. So, uh, yeah, he, he was a game breaker this year. He, he was just a junior this year, right? No, he's a senior. Okay. And Torres is a senior. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so how many seniors do you have leaving, and how big of a gap do you believe that's going to leave in, in your team? We have a dozen seniors leaving. Uh, you know, and anytime you have a big senior class, mm -hmm. it leaves some shoes to fill. Uh, but I think the most encouraging part about it is our underclassmen have our bigger groups, you know, so we've got the players in the system, we just have to work and develop those kids as they come on up and be good football players. Okay. All right, Chesterfield seems to be a thorn in your side oh, when yeah. they come to playoffs. It's the second year in a row that they've not allowed the championship yeah. hunt. Uh, tell us about, you know, how that, how that feels. Well, you know, it, regardless who you lose to, just get beat out in the playoffs, lose a bad taste in your mind. It takes a while to get over. It takes a couple of weeks, maybe a couple <laughs> of months to get over. Uh, but, you know, as you look back, Chesterfield seems to have our number a little bit. We've lost to one class A school in two years, and that's been Chesterfield. Last year they went on to play for a state championship, and they're still playing this year. So, you know, we're getting beat by a good football team. Uh, and it was almost decided by two points. And it, yeah, it was a two-point game, but you know, we just we just want to continue to work and uh, work hard and try to be right in the mix again next year. Um, you had a, a very good offense this year. I believe you ran the wing tee, right? Mm -hmm. um, are you planning on keeping that form, that main formation, or are you planning on doing something that, different next year? That'll be what we'll base out of next year. We may try a little more with our quarterbacks, just depending on how it goes through the off season. Yeah. So you, you plan on being a more balanced team as far as throwing and running? Uh, no, we're going to hang our hat on the run okay. next year. Uh, we, you know, hope if, if we, our goal is to throw effectively. Mm -hmm. Now whether that's five times a game or 12 times a game, it don't really matter. Just the fact that we need to make opposing defenses respect the pass. So if they're respecting the pass and we can throw it effectively when we need to, that's what it matters. Well, anytime you run good, you're always up on the Open up the pass, pass and the play action, you know, and mm -hmm. always it'll keep defenses guessing. Oh, yeah. And, you know, a lot of it goes back to the first thing is protection, how well you can protect. 
And uh, you know, you can have Charlie Whitehurst back there, but if you can't protect him, it's not going to much matter. But uh, I, I think we're poised to have a good year next year. What are some things that you believe you need to, to work on? Uh, strength and conditioning. Mm -hmm. uh, we need, we're going to work hard to develop a, a kicker over the off season. Uh, that's why you went for so many two points. Yes, yeah, yep, yeah. and you know that's that's the main two things. Okay. And, and our young quarterbacks too. Working with them. Okay. What 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 grade class will they be in next year? Both of them will be a tenth grade. Okay. Both of them tenth grade. Right. And then we do have Ladarius return to the season smash next year as well. Okay. So what are some of your team leaders that that will be returning next year? Uh, returners, guys that. We can look to for leadership. Uh, Bo Brown returns on the offensive and defensive line for us. Uh, then we have Lance Richardson and Ladarius Hawthorne both returning in the backfield. Uh, Demond Hammonds could be a bigger leader for us. Uh, got great potential. And you look for them to make a big impact mm -hmm. next year. Mm -hmm. Okay.